8 o'clock Wednesday morning. You can hear the bells from the school. Well, of course, you can't now because the minute I video, they go off. It's pretty nice. Very pretty day. Guys, it's a gorgeous day. It is actually 68. I put a sweater on. I don't think I even need it, but you can see some of the trees starting to change on the tips. I'm going to do some errands, escaping the phones. Day off, yeah. You have a day off and I have a day off. It's the same day. <laughs> I know. It's very rare the days that I don't have Katie that Ashley's off. So we get. You don't have Katie or Dad doesn't steal you for something. Right. Which I would have done the yearbook meeting today, but. There's only half day school, as you can tell by all the kids walking around. And then next Monday they don't have school at all because it's Columbus Day. Kevin Hart Day. Kevin Hart Day. Great day and then, and then Kevin Hart Day. Yeah. Kevin Hart Night. Why are you day. stopping, silly boy? You're going to cause an accident day. Like... Now they're going to race to get into one lane. Great on Monday, which we've always gone to in... Since I was little. Yeah into town where Pete's family live. It was originally all Italian. Now that tree is a proper fall colour. It's getting there. So we're going to take a drive down to the little farm place where we always get pumpkins from. have boarding house at boys school. It's very old fashioned. Boys in one, girls in another. Hit the song. The weekend, right? Yeah. It sounds like he can't be bothered to sing though. That's how I feel. But I'm hooked on it now. I like it. I do like it. It's like this part. Look! Pumpkin! Pumpkins. Why are they? Are they just getting them? Maybe. Maybe. Because look, they don't have the little ones. And there's the scarecrow I always get. Little place. Okay, we just got home. We did some damage. And some Christmas presents. That was Christmas. I'll show Sephora first because it has this. So, you got the umbrella, because I can't get it yet, from Sephora, and it says Sephora VIV Rouge on it, and it's black and white stripes. That'd be good for Ashley's car, because her Victoria's Secret one broke. It's sad looking. Oh, you got samples. Oh, really? You got the perk first. You got the Sauvage from Christian Dior. This was a 250 point perk, so if you guys have points at Sephora, you have to try this. It's amazing. I love the little bottle. That's going in my bag. And then we got the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist because I got one in my grass, which you'll be seeing soon. It is pretty. The Dewy Skin Mist, so if you want to give yourself that dewy, you can have this beauty from Marc Jacob. It's the 20 Day to Night Shades, Luxurious Textures, Pure Performance. Box is so pretty. I wasn't gonna get this right away, I was gonna wait, but they only had one left. And Ash said there's no more in stock. She was actually surprised they were all gone because there was four yesterday, yeah, wasn't four there? Yesterday, but look at that, it's so pretty. And I do, I had a Marc Jacobs palette and I loved it, and it stays on a long time. But Ash is gonna review it on her channel for you. Look at that big mirror. These are more my colors. Ashley and I we just talked Pete into fish and chips because it's 4.36 and Ashley and I have not eaten anything. We just did errands. In your vines and then it says Greenwich. Greenwich. And then it has the same thing on the back. So go pre-order some holiday stuff. <laughs> Stop it. Anyways, I got one eyeshadow. <laughs> and it's probably in one of the palettes I have already. Then take it back. No, I like it. She's a cheeky monkey today, guys. It's called Quarry. It's a matte 
We were doing so well in the beginning of the day, and then the second half of the day, it just went womp, womp, womp. And then we went to Ulta, because two makeup stores aren't enough. And of course, the thing, one of the things we were gonna get as a gift was not on their website. Can we finish the video first? Okay. <laughs> I'm I got, like. <laughs> I got the Mega Pro Palette 2. She got mad at me because I wanted to go take the messages off the machine first, and now she's like, let me check the website. Look at all those pretty colors. And so There's I would so use all colors. those. Well, maybe not the yellow because that would make me and look that old. One. And that one. Yeah. I like this one because it's called seashell. My finger's rich and I almost got myself one. should have. I know, but I, I, I'm old. I have more palettes so, now. Yeah, but my palettes are going to outlive me. I'll be leaving them you in my will. Live your life. I am living my life. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. Because sometimes... You just want to use a different brand. Yes, exactly. Buddy, hope you're doing well. It's quarter past nine, and I am happy to say the laundry's going. Didn't forget. The video is edited, uploaded, and live. Yay! Before midnight. That's a plus. And I've got a question ready for you. And my answer will involve a story. Yay for story time. But this is the question What was your best experience? with alcohol and what was your worst experience with alcohol? I have a couple of stories but I'm going to share. My friend Jane and I and Kat, we were all working at the beach club at the time. Um, we all decided to go into the city to have a few drinks and we ended up in this bar and I forget where it was now. I can't even remember the name of it but we had a few drinks and I didn't feel well. Don't drink a lot, didn't drink a lot. We only had a couple of drinks. And we decided to go to one of the diners. Now this was in New York City. We decided to go to one of the diners afterwards for something to eat before we headed home. All I remember is sitting at the diner and I don't remember anything else. And I just remember getting home and being violently sick. And Pete was so angry. He thought I had drunk way more than I had. And I remember the next morning I didn't feel any better. I could barely lift my head off the pillow. Any time I lifted the head off my head off the pillow, I was really sick and it went on for a good part of the morning. It goes to a few days later and there was I don't know if there was an arrest made at this bar or the bar had been found out for people lacing drinks. And that's what I think happened. I think my drinks were laced because I said to Pete I didn't drink that much, not to be in the state I was in. And, you know, when someone got done later on for lace and drinks, we just put two and two together and assumed that's what happened to me. But it was horrible. But on a fun note, when we worked at the club, the staff used to go out after a long night of work. Now, I used to work in the office as well. So some days I was there 8.15 in the morning and then I would work a function at night. So I wouldn't, we wouldn't get off till 12, one o'clock. So I'd worked all day and then all night. So we used to go to, you know I tell you about the Irish Deli, well they also own a bar. Um, and we used to go there all the time, it was so much fun. It was so funny because there was a lot of clubs in the area and a lot of the staff used to go to, sorry I got eyelash in my eye. A lot of staff from the different clubs used to go to this bar, a very tiny bar. Um, Literally, you do one of these jobs trying to get to the bar, holding your drink up and like <laughs> trying to get through people. But we used to go there, they had a jukebox, we knew the bartenders, everybody loved us, we loved everybody. And we used to have such a laugh and the whole crew would come that had been working, at least a good ten of us used to go. I just remember we used to have some laughs. We got on well and I'm in touch with a lot of the, the we, the kids back then we used to call I worked for Jane. Jane was the catering manager and I was the assistant catering, ma catering manager. It was just a blast. We used to have the best times and I have some of my best memories sitting in that little pub, bar, pub, um, just chatting and we used to put the jukebox on and I remember one night we just all started dancing. There was no dance floor. I mean, lit I'm, we're going to go there for lunch one day and I will show you how tiny the place is. It literally has six booths. One night we just went crazy putting music in the jukebox and we were all dancing and we just had the best time like even people coming in that we didn't know and it's funny because a lot of the members used to go there a lot of the members from the club used to go there as well 
And I just remember going in, because we went in the next night afterwards, we were like, we're just going to have a quiet night. We just went in to get some dinner or what have you after work. And because um, they were up till four o'clock in the morning, don't forget. So I was sitting there. <laughs> there was a guy at the bar who was always in there, an older guy. And I remember one of his buddies come in and he goes, oh my God, he said to his friend, you should have been here last night. And the guy's like, why? What was different about last night? He goes, they turned this freaking place into a discotheque. And it just stuck with me. So there's some of my best and my worst memories. She's tucked herself in. She doesn't want me to show her tonight because she hasn't had a haircut yet. But yeah, Ash and I had a good day. I did my Avon this morning, got everything sorted out. Then we left, did some deliveries. We were all over the place doing errands. And then when we got home, I returned all the phone calls that were on the machine. Wasn't too many today. Got a hold of everybody. And then Pete came home with fish and chips for us, which was great. Then I did some laundry, went in the office, edited, and here we are. That was the day. So I'm going to love and leave you for tonight. I hope everybody had a fantastic Wednesday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Bye guys, take care.